guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys a super easy way to clean your Louis Vuitton canvas and polish the zippers. So for this, all you're going to need is some awesome cleaner. You can get this stuff at the dollar store. Some wire brushes. These are also at the dollar store. Um, any kind of towel, I got this from the dollar store. An old toothbrush. And then this is going to be used after you're done cleaning just to help um, bring back the moisture to the canvas and this is basically just a protectant you can get this at Walmart and you can use it for vinyl rubber or plastic okay so first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna just wet the toothbrush with just some faucet water and then I just spray a little bit of this stuff that's all you need not even a full spray just less than half a spray and then you're gonna do circular movements on the canvas just like this and then just add a little bit more water as needed now if you didn't want to do this like over a sink and you wanted to just sit down you can mix up a little batch in a bowl and what I would do is just two parts water to one part awesome cleaner and just go in a circular motion like this and what this does is it kind of helps get in all the crevices before I came across this method, I would just use um, some baby wipes and it would do the job, but it wouldn't come out as good as I wanted it to. So this method is really good, especially if you bought, let's say, um, a vintage bag and it's been sitting in storage. Like a lot of those pre-loved bags, especially if you buy them from Japan, they sit in storage and they just like collect dust and they get kind of grimy so um, then you just take like a paper towel or you could use like a little washcloth or whatever just dampen it and then wipe that off I don't know if you can really see that but some of the dirt came off like the bag didn't really look like it was dirty but once you do this little thing to it you'll see that it is actually dirty and then you're going to take like this soft towel and then dry that off and I'm also going to include before and after pictures of all this so you could like really see the difference so just dry that off really good and now I want to show you how I clean the zipper so you just take your brush and just gently, you don't even need to apply a lot of pressure. Just back and forth. Hopefully you can see how it's becoming shiny, whereas this is like quite dull. And just go back and forth with that. Again, you don't need a lot of pressure. And you see how shiny that is? makes a big difference especially with these vintage bags that have like these tiny teeth and it's really hard with like brasso to like get these clean so I find that using this brush is like the easiest method plus brasso tends to like gunk up between the teeth and sometimes it ends up looking even worse than before so I'm not too concerned about these zippers because no one really sees this. So I'm not like really going in at it. But I'm just going to do it a little bit. And for the actual zippers, I would just use Brasso on this, like Brasso on a Q tip. There we go. It, does, it makes a, a difference especially to the front one. Okay, so after that's done, I just take like an old sock and then give this a little shake. That's all you need, a spray. And then wipe that on there. And I feel like this just helps kind of protect the canvas and kind of put some of the moisture back into it just in case the awesome cleaner, you know, dried it out a little bit. Even though it's a coated canvas, it's not a leather. And look at that. Looks almost brand new, right? 
And then that's the other side that we haven't done. So as you can see, it's a little bit more dull. It's the clean side. So I'm just gonna do that again. It's super simple. I mean, these things cost all this together probably less than like six dollars. And it's actually kind of fun to do. Like yesterday, I just went through all my stuff and just cleaned it all for the hell of it. Because why not? It doesn't take long. And also another tip, if, um, if you bought a vintage bag and it kind of has like a musty smell to it or um, just any kind of odor, you can use dryer sheets. Now the dryer sheets I really like to use, go figure also from the dollar store. These breezy dryer sheets are really, really good. They smell great. And just pop one of those in there and it does a good job of soaking up like whatever kind of smell is in there. Right. See that? You wouldn't think it's really dirty, but just after you clean it, you see some stuff comes off. Now that's all this stuff that's in the little grooves. And then dry it off again. This is just one of those chamois that you can use like to dry off your car or polish your car. But really any kind of little, like any towel would work. Then, and that's all you do. See that? See how much more vibrant the canvas is now just by doing that quick little trick? So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.